Elementary Tai Chi Jian, 32 Movements Tai Chi Jian. Kyusha, Starting Position. 1. The body being upright, the feet are shoulder width apart, and the toes pointing forward, the arms relaxed naturally on the sides of the body, the left hand holding the sword, the tip of the sword pointing upwards, and the body of the sword being vertical. Look to the front. Keynotes. The upper body should be naturally relaxed, do not intentionally brace the chest and tighten the abdomen. The body of the sword behind the left arm should not touch the body. The shoulders should be naturally relaxed and loosened. 2. The right hand transform into the sword fingers, both arms slowly raised to the front and to the shoulder level, with palms facing down. Look forward. Keynotes. When raising the arms, it should be natural and do not use excessive strength, and the width between the hands should not exceed the shoulder width. The body of the sword should be flat under the left arm, and the tip of the sword should not droop. 3. Turn the upper body slightly to the right, shift the body's center of gravity to the right leg, bending the knees to a half squat position, then turn the body to the left, lift the left leg and step forward to the left, forming a left bow stance. The left hand holding the sword then pass by the front of the body and brush down to the left and stop at the side of the left hip. The sword should be vertical and positioned behind the left arm, with the tip of the sword pointing up. At the same time, the right hand with the sword fingers lowers and changes to the palm facing upwards, bending the elbow and move from the right back and lift to the side of the ear, following along the body turn and point forward at eye level. The eyes first look towards the right and then look forward towards the right sword finger. Keynotes. When the left arm moving in an arc in front of the body, the body should turn slightly to the right first, then lift the left leg only when the body's center of gravity has been stabilized on the right leg. The body turn, the forward step, and the arm movement should be coordinated and gentle. 4. Bend the left elbow and lifts up the left arm, the left hand holding the sword, palm facing down, passes by the front of the chest and threads above the right hand, the sword finger of the right hand turns over palm facing up and slowly lowers to the right back, palm still facing up, both arms extend to the front and back, and turn the body backwards, at the same time, lift the right leg and move forward, land horizontally with the toes turning outwards, crossing both thighs, and the knee slightly bent, the left heel lifts off the ground, the body lower down slightly, forming a half sitting stance, look towards the right hand, keynotes, both hands should be staggered and separated in front of the body, and the retreat of the right hand and the right turn of the body must be coordinated. 5. The left hand holding the sword and the position of the right foot remains unmoved. The left foot takes a step forward to form a left bow stance. At the same time, the body turns to the left, then the sword finger of the right hand lowers from the upper right of the head to the front and position on the handle of the sword, getting ready to hold onto the sword. Look forward. Keynotes. When moving, first lift the legs and turn the head to the left, then raise the right arm and lower to the front. The arms should not be stiff and straight, both shoulders should be relaxed. Keep the upper body natural. 